Well, PRGE 2022 is officially over, and I gotta say, it was awesome being back after a three-year hiatus due to, you know, global issues. But it was super fun. I got to see a lot of people that I haven't seen in a while and got to experience everything that is PRGE, which is an amazing con. It did feel a little bit smaller to me than I remember back in 2019, but it was still a ton of fun. There was a huge selection, huge variety. And today I am going to show you what I got at PRGE 2022. So actually, my very first purchase was actually a mystery bag filled with Famicom games. Now, in that mystery bag were some games that I had never heard of and a couple that I had heard of and was kind of excited to add to the collection. Now, first up, we have this one, and I'm probably butchering the translations, but I just took a photo and used Google Translate. We have Muscle Tag Match, I believe is what this is. Uh, looks fun. Looks like some sort of little uh, fighting game on the Famicom. Uh, then we have, and I couldn't get an accurate translation, I believe this is Strange Demon Realm. Uh, I don't know if that's actually what this is. Let me know down in the comments. Um, this one, this is Adventure Island. That one I know. So, uh, Adventure Island on Famicom, very cool. Some of these carts not in the best condition. We'll definitely do some cleanup. But then I got a boxed copy of Clue Clue. Uh, so, was very excited to see that. This is a super fun game, and getting a boxed copy, I mean, that's just awesome. Now, I did also pick up a couple random little, like, tchotchke kind of things and a random accessory. So, I'll show you those next. Right here, uh, we have the notepad from Gaming Historian. I saw Norm there. And, Norm, you have these way too cheap. It was only 10 bucks for this notebook. You could easily get more for that. I then got a couple sets of dice. Uh, kind of hard to see on the camera, but they each have purple in them, you know, purple, game dad. Uh, and then one has blue mixed in, and the other has black mixed in. Um, and then, from John Hancock, he had this awesome, like, multi-cart reader thing for the 2600. Um, so you can put all your different ones in there, and it's a cart selector. Um, he did let me know, though, this does not work with homebrew, so that's kind of a bummer. But pretty cool that I could just have, you know, all my favorite games stacked up and ready to go. And then while I was at John Hancock's booth, I also picked up his new homebrew, Blockum Sockum. Of course, had to get it autographed. Uh, and this is awesome. Nice clamshell. Brand new boards, everything. Blockum Sockum on the Genesis. It has its nice manual. All that stuff. Love to see this kind of thing still happening these days. And super fun game as well. Now, while I was there, something super awesome happened, and I have it all sitting right here, just out of frame, but you're gonna have to wait until the end of the pickups video to find out what it was, so make sure you stay tuned. But next up, I added more Wii U games to the collection. We will start with what is obviously the best pickup of all of them, and that is Zumba Fitness World Party. No, just kidding, obviously. Hey. These are the types of games where they are the dirt cheap ones, but you just never see them. So, got it added to the collection. Wasn't expensive at all. Then, we have Resident Evil Revelations on the Wii U. Pretty excited to add that one, and I'm pretty sure this is only one of two games that actually has a black spine for the North American set on the Wii U. The other one is Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Now, I don't know what they uh, dealed with Nintendo to be able to have a black label, making it different from every other Wii U game, but there you go. Next up was Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games, and this is Sochi 2014 that did not have that one. And then this one, I was very surprised because not only do I never see the game, but I definitely never see this special edition. And that is Tokyo Mirage Sessions hashtag FE special edition. That is a mouthful. Now, what was really cool is although this is open, the game inside of it is actually still factory sealed. Now, you know me, uh, I don't do factory sealed, so I'll go ahead and just... Uh, break this seal on camera and make everyone super upset um, that loves to th keep things sealed. But you know what? I don't care. Uh, games, to me, are meant to be played. You live your life, I'll live mine. So there you go. Tokyo Mirage, Mirage Sessions FE. Hashtag FE. I don't know how you're supposed to say that. But added that special edition. 
Now for the super awesome pickup, and if you have stayed until now, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell, that way you can alert every time I get a new video coming out. Uh, Whatnot was there, and they were holding a raffle, and anyone that had a uh, had the Whatnot app, and they were signed up, they got a chance to drop a little coin, and uh, I won some Donkey Kong trading cards right there, or like bubblegum, no, three rub-off cards, three stickers, and one thing of bubblegum. Uh, now this, I am not going to open because it sounds like powder in here, and I don't want to get that everywhere. Um, that wasn't actually the cool thing. The cool thing is Whatnot had a raffle going on for a $500 shopping spree while at PRGE, and I won! Uh, I was very surprised uh, because I never win anything. So we went on a live shopping spree uh, while they were live doing the raffle, everything, and couldn't really decide what I wanted, but there was one thing that caught my eye and I was able to work a deal with the guy to get these things bundled. Now, first thing up, boxed N64 controller, and this is the Japanese uh, Pikachu edition controller that is the orange and yellow. And this is complete in box. It's not like sealed or anything like that, but there we go. Complete in box, orange and yellow controller. It's actually in really good shape, so that's awesome to see. But then the really cool thing is I already have the North American Pikachu edition of the N64, and now complete in box, I have the Japanese version. So this is the lighter blue version that released in Japan. And this, again, 100% complete, has everything in there. So, super stoked, thanks to a uh, whatnot raffle, I was able to get a complete in box uh, Japanese Pikachu N64, as well as they bundled it with uh, the orange and yellow controller. So now, to have a complete Pikachu set, all that I need is the actual orange and yellow console. So, I guess I'll be on the lookout for that now. So those are my 2022 PRGE pickups, and I cannot wait to go back. I had an amazing time. It was fun hanging out with all my friends, all that stuff, and being able to just see everything in the vendor hall, go play some free arcade, all that stuff. It was a fantastic con, and I cannot wait to go back. Now, if you went to PRGE 2022, let me know down in the comments, what did you pick up? I would love to hear about it. And until then, please make sure you're subscribed, and I will catch you in the next video.